Our next presenter is an anchor and special correspondent for CNN Special Investigations Unit. Her, <laughs> her contributions to CNN's coverage of Hurricane Katrina helped the network win a Peabody Award, and she was part of the team that earned CNN a DuPont Award for its coverage of the 2006 tsunami. Here is Soledad O'Brien. First and foremost, congratulations to you, Ted. We are here this evening to reward and award the excellent work of our esteemed colleagues. It is not hyperbole to say that the winners here tonight are among the finest journalists of our time, bringing important stories to life, risking life and limb to get access, working in unspeakably arduous conditions at time with hard, uh, integrity and with passion. Some think major league journalism is covering the big stories, literally covering a big event. But for me, great journalism often happens in the moments and the days and the months after a big story. And it's less about the bigness of the story than the little moments when lives are changed for good or for bad. It's about asking those difficult and uncomfortable questions, questions most usually the people don't get a chance to ask. The heroes of the small stories have to be brave enough to scale obstacles, dig into stories that aren't possibly summed up in a soundbite or a press release. They are stories that are critically important to our lives and yet somehow have to fight for airtime in between Lindsay Lohan's legal troubles and the debate over whether Brittany really shouldn't have worn that bikini on TV. Those small, crucial stories can get lost from the viewer's eyes if one's not careful. So tonight I'd like to make a toast to the winners who embrace the small stories. Stories of people taking small steps forward in the Gulf Coast. Stories that examine the debate over who gets to call himself or herself an American. Stories about men and women who lose so much physically in war. And yet time and time again will tell you that if they could, they would return to the battlefield. And at the end of the day, these are stories about people, human beings who may speak our language or not, who may share our beliefs or not, but who all seem to want a better future for themselves and their children, whether they're in Biloxi or in Beirut or in Bay Ridge. I have loved being a part of the biggest stories, but the true glory is in telling the small stories well.